Hi guys. Well, I don't know what happened to our beautiful day here in paradise. Up here in the green mountains of Vermont, where uh, on this now almost wintry, what are we? It is a Wednesday, October 9th, 2024. And while all eyes on the planet are looking uh, south of here in the great state of Florida. I'm going to take a few minutes for the few people uh, not looking at today's collapse. We're going to look at a few years ahead before I head off to join my Doomer buddy Tommyist for grabbing a pizza and beer while we still can. Uh, but before I head out of here, Right here on the mainstream media, in the middle of all of this hurricane coverage, I am thrilled to say we have a hopium-free, straight-ahead, in-your-face, we are so fucked, and there's not a goddamn thing we're going to do about it, uh, article. Uh, good for you, this outfit called Futurism, and the good old Yahoo News uh summing up the state of the planet here on October 9th 2024 whether or not you live in the great state of Florida I need to let the little dog out and we will dive in well, come on dog uh let the little dog out to pee well, we, uh, okay. Scientists just took the Earth's vital signs. They hated what they saw. All right. Doctors have just taken the Earth's vital signs, and the prognosis is not good in an annual climate report published in the journal Bioscience, an international team of scientists warn that humanity is, quote, on the brink of an irreversible climate disaster, close quote, as we fail to stop the worst of the environmental impacts. I'm quite sure anybody in Sarasota or Fort Myers, Florida would agree with that statement today. Right now, of the 35 planetary signs that track that scientists track annually, <coughs> 25 of the 35 are right now at the worst levels ever recorded, the new report found. If left unaddressed, which of course, uh, not only will they be left unaddressed, they're only going to ramp up. If left unaddressed, the result of these changes will be massively destabilizing to both human and non-human life with societal collapse now emerging as a serious possibility. The report emphasizes that the primary drivers of our unfolding climate crisis are human-made emissions of carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gases like methane. Ninety percent of those emissions stem from the combustion of fossil fuels with the remainder accounted for by devastating forms of human-imposed land destruction, mainly deforestation. Quoting the report in Biosciences Today, and there's links to the, uh, to the full report on the link here. Quote, this is a global emergency beyond any doubt. We are stepping into a critical and unpredictable new phase of the climate crisis. Close quote. And while I'm thinking at it, let's all give uh, our old buddy uh, uh, Elliot Jacobson, the climate analyst 
uh, Elliot Jacobson, a big hand, actually got over five minutes on CNN uh, last night talking about how we are fucked. And, and I love how he said, how Elliot said, the planet is so F. And I'm thinking, say it, Elliot, say it, Elliot. The planet is so fragile. We are so fragile. All right, so that is, uh, thank Elliot Jacobson for getting a, a pretty hopium-free uh, message onto CNN last night about we are so F on the, the planet is so F. Anyway, back to the, the review of this uh, new scientific journal. Many of these vital signs are beginning to sound decidedly morbid. Per the report, the surface temperature of the Earth's oceans have reached record-breaking levels, and so has their acidity. The average global sea level, too, is at a record high. Three of the hottest days ever recorded took place this July, and fossil fuel emissions are higher than they have ever been, rising by 1.5% uh, in 2023 from the year before that. In the coming years, there will be more extreme weather events they warn. Uh, coming years, uh, we, we could have three more of these monster hurricanes uh, between now uh, and Thanksgiving. And do you believe it? Right here, right here in the mainstream media, I do not believe uh, that this got through the editors of Yahoo News. Meanwhile, the human population is incre increasing at a rate of around 200,000 people every day, the report said. Half of this popu population of this planet believes that the population on this planet is falling. One more time. Meanwhile, the human population on this planet is increasing at a rate of around 200,000 people every day, the report said. Similarly, the number of cattle, sheep, and goats which produce significant greenhouse gas emissions on top of the large amounts from deforestation required to farm them is increasing by approximately 170,000 livestock animals per day. With our current commitments, yes, I should say the the ain't gonna happen lack of commitments to curb greenhouse gas emissions, the planet is still on track for around 4.9 degrees Fahrenheit of peak warming by 2100. I'm glad they see putting this in Fahrenheit for us intelligent Americans who uh, put the freezing temperature of water at 32 and the boiling temperature of water at 212, while zero and 100 doesn't mean anything on the Fahrenheit scale. I'm so happy to see that uh, they are talking American. All right, this is William Ripple uh, in The Guardian. So The Guardian uh, also had a, had a uh, covered this. Uh, I remember trying to get William Ripple on the show a couple of years ago. For some reason, he was not interested. But William Ripple is a professor of ecology at Oregon State University, who was, I guess, the lead author of the report, told The Guardian today, quote, We are already in the midst 
of abrupt climate upheaval which jeopardizes life on Earth like nothing humans have ever seen. And then I, the two words I have never seen in my life in the mainstream media, never once, showing up in the Guardian and in Yahoo News today, probably for the first time ever. You tell them, William Ripple, quote, ecological overshoot, taking more than the Earth can safely give, has pushed the planet into climatic conditions more threatening than anything witnessed even by our prehistoric relatives, close quote. And then I love it right here in the mainstream media today by society, by, by society. One of the most grim auguries most grim auguries, A-U-G-U-R-I-E-S, one of the most grim auguries is that scientists, not just doomers, are now increasingly grappling with the possibility of societal collapse as more scientific articles than ever before are being published about the topic in relation to climate change, the report found. Even if we were to avoid a global collapse, the authors write, climate change could displace hundreds of millions, if not billions, of more people than it already has. Quoting the report, by the end of the century, roughly one-third of people worldwide could be outside the human climate niche, facing increased risk of illness and early death, famine, and a host of other adverse outcomes, close quote. They leave us with a final warning we simply are not doing enough. Quote, we are currently going in the wrong direction in our increasing fossil fuel consumption and rising greenhouse gas emissions are driving us toward a climate catastrophe. Close quote. And... Uh, so let's hear some of the con the 57 comments. Uh, I don't believe that 57 people actually read this between all the hurricane. I see too many people disregarding the science in favor of remaining in good standing in a particular political ideology, such extraordinarily willful and defiant ignorance has brought us to the brink of disaster. All right, and then right next to that one, this sounds a lot more like religion than science, not even a modern religion, but one based on magical thinking and selling of indulgences like in the Dark Ages. All right. Um... Okay, we're going to talk about humans. It's all about natural phenomena accentuated by other phenomena over population. Most scientists estimate that the Earth can support no more than one and a half billion people. The big question, therefore, is... At nearing 9 billion, what are we going to do with all these people? Killing sheep 
hogs and cattle might be considered, but only for the intent of reducing the human population from a lack of protein. However, fear not, it appears that Mother Nature will soon take care of this for us, and there is nothing we can do about it. We are outside of the window of opportunity for that now. <laughs> Thank you very much. Someone, a fan of the ain't gonna happen comment. There is nothing we can do about it. We are outside of the window of opportunity for that now. And I love it that Yahoo News uh, had uh, no problem uh, with that comment. There you go. I, I leave a comment. I've always wondered what a phone app is. I get my comment yank, yanked down for violating the Yahoo uh, community's community guidelines, but we can talk about, uh, y y you know, uh, th there's not a goddamn thing that any of us are going to do about this. Uh, we we're completely fucked, and, and uh, j just get used to it. And the and ecological overshoot joins the discussion, and uh, my guess is that one one hundredth of one percent of the people looking at the hurricane coverage uh, have any clue what ecological overshoot is all about and what it has to do with a hurricane. But uh, I'm going to go enjoy some ecological overshoot and meet uh, my doomer buddy Tommyist for a pizza and a pitcher of beer on this increasingly cold winter day in the green mountains of Vermont while I still can. Bye guys. Are you ready for your chicken? Are you ready for your dinner? Or you say, Bob, I'm ready for my chicken.